What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button which is the bell icon. We're posting four videos every day so make sure to check back every single day. We're aiming for 20k subscribers and get a deal in the description if you haven't already. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe and bell icon. People aren't seeing our content and that's probably because you haven't hit the bell. Thank you again for all your support. We're so proud of the amazing community that we've built. So we're just taking a look at Avalanche here and it does look as though it's performing like an absolute beast. If we just drag our Fib retracement here from high to low, something like this, you can basically see all these levels being perfectly respected. Uh, essentially, it's doing extremely, extremely well, isn't it? Obviously, for a lot of cryptos, we've had that ABC correction, obviously Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polygon, Chainlink, VeChain, etc, etc. All cryptos that we are covering, by the way, so go check those videos out today. But you can see, uh, obviously, Avalanche, since it hit, recently hit its all-time high, a lot of the smart contract platforms have, by the way, like Algorand, Near, we've obviously got Elrond, Cosmos, obviously Avalanche, which we're covering right now. All these cryptos, because they've recently hit an all-time high, it seems as though they haven't got that ABC correction under their belt because they've been pumping up this whole time. We had that El Salvador dump, didn't we? Where we saw this. But actually, a lot of cryptos, smart contract platforms have hit all-time highs since then. So their ABC correction kind of went out the window as soon as they invalidated it and went higher, basically. So for a lot of these cryptos, we've basically just come down looking to retest that previous level of support. And it looks as they were basically getting it, aren't we? You can see here that... Uh, Avalanche is performing extremely, extremely well. We basically swept up, swept, come down, swept our lows with that big dump, didn't we? We come back up to the all-time high. We get a little bit of a rejection. We come down to retest some previous levels of support. You know, we come down to this area here. In and around this previous area of structure, we wick back into this area, reclaim the 20, and then we just ran to that next all-time high. At around seven, what is this? 75, 70, $76. Absolutely incredible. We come down. With the crash we've had over the past few days, we retest the 20 moving average and we've just had a really nice bounce. I mean, basically retesting that previous all time high and bouncing to the upside. Avalanche looking very, very strong indeed. This project has been looking really, really good recently, hasn't it? It's basically done what is this, a 6x? A 6x over a 7x in essentially the space of two or two or so months off the bottom that it's all there. And, you know, basically looking really, really strong. So not that much to say really about Avalanche other than that it's performing extremely well. And we can take a look at some short term price predictions now that we've ascertained that it's basically, you know, it's bouncing like an absolute beast right now, isn't it? Off that recent market sentiment we've had that's been quite bearish, we've basically had a massive, massive bounce for it. So short term price predictions then. If we do roll over, we've got the 20 moving average here coming in at around $55. And if we do have a larger correction, we could be coming down towards the $45, $50 area in and around this, you know, basically this range that we formed here and the 55 moving average. But, you know, if we do continue to pump up back towards that all time high of $76, we've obviously got our next Fibonacci target overall at that 127 at around $100, which is obviously a very key psychological target as well. You'd expect a good amount of resistance at that level. But yeah, Avalanche looking very, very strong indeed. And we probably expected to can to see some continuation for it, considering how much its ecosystem's fleshing out. So, and then there's longer term price predictions. We got the 141 coming in at around 132 dollars. We got the 161 at around 193, and then a massive 227 extension at around 644 dollars, which is around a 10x from the current price. Obviously, it remains to be seen whether or not we'll get this high. But considering how Solana performed recently, Avalanche could be the next Solana, and it could perform extremely well. So. That's it, guys. We'd like to thank everyone so much for their support. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon to stay up to date with the four videos that we post every single day. Remember, if you want to support the channel more directly and get a ton of benefits and insight, as well as joining our growing community, consider the Patreon or YouTube membership down below. You can also sign up to our free Telegram via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto. So go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are Crypto Maximalist.